All right, today excited to welcome our guest, 2012 Olympian Davis Tarwater. Davis, welcome to Deck Pass Live. Yeah, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me. All right, we got to get straight into this. Being a very proud Michigan man, how excited and pumped up are you for Connor Yeager? Well, first, I'm just really excited about the man that Connor Yeager has become, the way that he handles himself, the way that he takes care of business. And, you know, aside from the allegiance that I have to the University of Michigan, the allegiance that he has to the University of Michigan, I think that he is a great candidate to be the captain oh, of wow. this team. I think he's that kind of leader. Now, whether he will be or not, uh, I don't know, but I would look to a guy like that to take a very large leadership role on this team uh, over the next month. And, you know, with a lot of new guys, he's the perfect guy to kind of mentor and bring people along. And I'm just really happy for him because he's meant a lot to, to the University of Michigan, but he's meant a lot to American distance swimming. And Michigan, uh, the Michigan legacy is, is very much built on you know, the distance legacy. And I think right. that he's been an incredible continuation of that. Definitely. So speaking of distance, so Davis, you specialized in the 200 butterfly, dabbled in the 100 butterfly. Today, we're going to see some of that 100 butterfly speed, but also the last night we saw the 200 butterfly. What are the difference between the 100 and the 200 fly? It's kind of a lot, right? Yeah, it is kind of a lot. And you definitely have some guys that can step into both races pretty right. effectively. I mean, I look at a guy like Tom Shields. Right. Tom Shields has the ability to swim both races extremely well at an extremely high level, and I think he's going to have a great swim tonight. You right. saw that front end speed yes. uh, in the 200 fly. Uh, I, I think the, the biggest difference is being able to manage, for, especially for a 200 flyer, which I was more of a 200 flyer, is being able to step down and manage the stroke race, the tempo, uh, and really be able to maintain length and power throughout the course of the race. Sure. And, um, Michael has done an incredible job of being able to establish, you know, that, that front end length, but also that power and also, you know, uses walls effectively. I think we're going to see an interesting race from Ryan Lochte today in the right. 100 fly. And, you know, both of those guys, uh, you know, aside from the showdown that's going to happen later in the 200 right. IM, both those guys have to swim the 100 fly. Right. So um, that'll be kind of an interesting bit of the story as well. All right. So you bring it up, the 2 IM, the showdown. Who's your money on? I think that's, I, I am so excited. This is yeah. this is such a classic, <laughs> yeah. you know, this is such a classic matchup. And what I like about it is, is I think both of these guys have had their own sort of, I wouldn't say blips of confidence, right? But, <laughs> but you know, like Ryan had, you know, he's had, he's had to work through some things this sure, week. Sure, of course. Right, you know, um, and, um, and I think Michael has shown a lot of confidence, but we haven't seen much of him other than the 200 fly. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that neither of these guys are scared of each other. Nope. Neither of these guys are scared of this race. Right. Um, they are both in incredible shape and ready to go. I, you have to say something. I, you say I, it. I'm going, let's see. The, there's one oh guy's the world record Seriously. holder. One, I don't know. Oh, I, Davis, I'm too you're killing I like us. both of these guys. I like both of these guys. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Um, Five, four, I'll three, two. I'll say Lochte. Two. Oh. I'll say Lochte in a close ooh, race. Ooh, I'll say Lochte. Ooh, you and, heard and, it and listen, first. And listen, if Michael's watching, which I know you're not, um, <laughs> I'm offended. <laughs> well, he's, and he's warming up. <laughs> Why he's not watching the? Um, Keep it together, Tarwater. If um, I, I think I think Lochte, uh just maybe I'm feeling it. Okay. And I'm better, you know. You don't have to justify yourself. I, I You're like, good. I like Phelps. You know. Okay, we're done. We're Next question. Friends, Stop it. Hey, Shh, go quiet. Hey. All right. So you know, let's get serious. You swim in four Olympic trials, correct? Or five, four? four? Four Olympic trials. That's a lot of Olympic trials. Yeah. And I, I don't want to bring it up, but I know you have some not some not so awesome trials. But then you have when yes, that happened. Talk us through, you know, the highs and the lows of this of this event, this me, um, how you overcome those obstacles. Because there are going to be people that are leaving with third places or leaving with fourth places. You know, we saw Caitlin Leverance that got third by five one hundredths of a second. I mean, talk us through that emotional obstacle to overcome, and then how it makes it so much more bittersweet when you do qualify for the team. Yeah, and specifically with Kayla Leverance, that was tough to watch. It was. She so saw the emotion immediately. She is such a great human being and is such a great person and my heart goes out to her and I, right. I'm just so happy that she has had an Olympic experience. Exactly. Um, you know, for me, it, it the, the hardest part about this meet is the finality of it. You know, I mean, in other sports, you come back, you have the opportunity to do it do it again next year. Sure. You know, we didn't make it to the Super Bowl, we're going to do it again next <laughs> year. You know, Steph Curry's going to come back and he's going to try to win next year. Right. There's a finality about this meet. You know, it, the every four years part of it, you know, you put so much of your heart and soul into it and then you step in and um, there's just that added pressure. I mean, right. the Olympics was so much easier. I mean, I'm sure you probably feel the same way. The but trials is the said. hard, you know, the yeah. Olympics are so much easier. So, um, you know, my story luckily had a happy ending. Definitely. And um, uh, 
it didn't happen the way that I thought it was going to happen. <laughs> right. But um, I'm really just honored to have to have represented my country at an Olympics, and and um, I'm just so impressed with the job that Omaha does and, and, and coming back and stepping into this environment. Right. You know, I thought for for a minute, you know, maybe I wouldn't like it. You know, maybe it'd be there'd be some like bad moments. You know, right. I, I'd, I'd have bad memory. And you know what? This is such a great place. This really is such is. a special meet, and the and and they do such a great job. I've loved being here, and right. so I just. I'm just so excited to see how this meet unfolds and see yeah. you know some of the veterans continue to work through sure. and, and get on this team and, and love seeing the new faces as well. All right, before we go, like we said, proud Michigan man. You can't think Michigan without thinking John Urbanchek. Somebody that we are so fond of, so many um, special moments that we've shared with him, but you have one of the best Urbanchek impressions. Can you take us out on one of your Urbies? Okay, everyone, thank you for tuning in to my very special buddy Davis Tarwater's show in the morning of Omaha Day 6 Olympic Trials. Thank you, Davis. <laughs>